Hello, I'm Smokey957 and in 65 days I'm going to lead the cause against the Washington Brotherhood and I'm going to do it using only power armor and I aim to become the Northwestern Brotherhood before the end of 2275. It's a bit of history about the cause before we start. A former high-ranking member of the Washington Brotherhood, Abel left the Bloodstained Chapter as an act of rebellion, forging a community of with other escapees and like-minded mercenaries in the ruins of Fort Willamette, scraping together a precarious alliance of Brotherhood exiles and the Wardens of the White, a paramilitary Reg-esque group that once protected Portland. The cause had managed to find itself and find its feet in Oregon. Since then, the Wardens already moved further east, leaving our company, noting dis dissatisfaction with our methods. Nonetheless, Abel's disobedience would not go unnoticed by the Washington Brotherhood. However, and months after his escape, his rebellion was discovered. Now that the immortal, now with the immortal breathing down his neck, Abel must put everything on the line to save everything he cares about. Okay, I'm going to start with the following national spirits. Bunker Blues, which will give us all the lovely Brotherhood perks. Glorious Purpose, which will give us uh, more population, more entrenchment, more research speed and reduce power armor cost and unfortunately dissolution of the Lance squadron which will take away some of that research speed a massive 25% experience soldier loss and less 15% political power gain but let's get started okay here we go I'm all set up uh, one additional national spirit that's been added to us is chaotic conflicts which means I can't accept volunteers until the end of 2276 hopefully that one is not going to be an issue now decisions I have disabled everything I don't need except mainly for the former Northwestern Brotherhood uh, not starting intelligence agency or a scavenging program just yet I need my factories for research I don't start with support equipment, so I'm going after that. Also, don't start with scrap bicycles. And as always, I want to get my Air, Air Force up and running as soon as I can. But because of perks in the focus tree, I've decided that I'm going to be focusing on fighters and blimps. Not going to go after the CAS. Then. For industry, going for tool procurement so I can get my production efficiency cap as fast as I can. And because I'm going to war so quickly, I want to try to get my decryption as soon as possible to get my intel boost. Now for construction, I have maxed out military factories since uh, Able does give me a 10% boost to building them and also my infrastructure so I can get as much resources as possible for the pr my production what I've actually done is I scrapped both of these and I've stopped power arm at maximum uh, once I can I'll get uh, a, a factory onto energy weapons I'm going to be purchasing guns from the gun runners as soon as I can and I'll start with one dockyard so I might as well make some canoes now the template you start off with it's just the two a 15 width just straight power armor and then a mix match of what I've renamed the MPs of militia and standard infantry now what my army you start with six units. These five were that uh, mixed match of infantry and militia, but I have uh, changed the templates. As I said, I'm only using power armor because if you're walking through a whole bunch of snow, I'd rather be in some nice warm power armor. So that's why I've got all my factories on there to get that up and running. And I think that's all that I can tell you. Let me get started on our founding. While High Elder Maxon was a founder of the Brotherhood as a whole, each chapter had its own founders. 
those that spread the word of the dangers of technology further into the wasteland. Who were our founders? <coughs> so we're going to start that. Okay, so our founding. So I've read that already. And our founders were scribes or paladins. Now, I like to boost whatever I have lowest. So our scribes, our founders were scribes. So I get 5% extra stability. And then moving on to our interim. Each chapter of the Brotherhood has its own priorities. Some focus on collecting the powerful weapons of the old world, while others are some priorities industrial machinery and tools. What did we focus on? Okay, so what did we focus on? We focused on weapons. So now I'll be able to get another one on power armor and start getting my engine weapons up and running. And then last for our founding, this by the way is the old Brotherhood generic tree up until I think when they added Texas on, most Brotherhood nations had this and then just the unique one over here. But obviously that's changed, I think it's just the cores in Washington that still have a tree like this. But on to our future. We have learned plenty in the years that are now behind us. We must use that experience to make preparations for the many years that are in front of us. Our future. Okay, so what have we done for our future? We will produce more for ourselves. Factory output 10%. Gather more resources. Normally I would pick something like this. But I need as much as I can, as fast as I can. So I'm going to go for the factory output. And then I'm now immediately going to go into Operation Snowstorm. Already preliminary plans are being made to fight against the Washington Brotherhood, but before we do, we must take some hard decisions. How do we go about it? So I'm going to get 100 army experience and 250 units in total of some much needed power armor. Now, I'm going a very quick direct route. Uh, you don't have to if you want to prepare yourself a little bit more then you can wait for this war between Olympus, Washington and Yakuma to be over and then Washington Brotherhood towards the end of 2275 will actually declare on you and then you'll fight a defensive war or of course you could prepare yourself a bit and then f fight whenever you want to maybe middle of the year but I want to challenge myself and go straight in, so that's why I have decided to go straight for Operation Snowstorm. And then before I unpause, let me buy some guns, because I'm probably going to need them in the future. Alright, after Operation Snowstorm has now been completed, we can now actually change the leader of the cause. I'm going to be sticking with Abel. But depending on who you choose will affect later on in your playthrough who you get war goals against. If you choose Uber Dan here, you'll go east against the old country and uh, Silex Nation. If you stick with Abel like I'm going to, you'll eventually go up to take on the Broken Coast. And if you choose Betty, you can join Troll Warren in the New Masters Army. But Abel is for me. Abel has brought the course together. He'll be the one to lead them through the storm. A hero to strike down the vile tyrant and bring unity to the Brotherhood once again. He, it was something he always wanted, a chance to be remembered. So you'll get another two planning skill and another and a boost of power and technology. Now the leaders you start off with <coughs> are actually pretty good. Abel comes with a very good five skill to planning. Dan has five to defense, and then Betty, who I've chosen to lead Able Squadron, has got five to attack. But very powerful leader leaders in general. And then you might have noticed I haven't been training any units yet. That's because I was waiting for this 100 XP because I want to edit this template to take it down to a 10 width just to save me some 
uh, power armor as if you've watched my maximum playthrough what I'm looking for now is a little bit of quantity but mainly I need quality so once that power armor I've received with the end of that focus is being distributed I will start training some more knights okay that's done now I must apologize I didn't show but I did change my all my units from my uh, paladin down to my brotherhood knights which I will now start training because everything's been given out and then the last step is to bring down a tyrant this is what happens to those who break the chains of bond for the brotherhood and the time is now my 65 days are up I'm now at war with both the brotherhood and the Akama nation what focus am I going to choose next I'm going to go battle plan curly these lovely five focuses will give me a squad and command power to add to my units so first of all battle plan curly curly was a loyal squad able fought with them near the border of colorado years ago so they'll join me in 30 days now i also got a 100 command power so time to select my leader which will of course be able and let me give me his perks so oh, there we go okay now as for perks pain train so at least you'll get they'll get five percent of all these lovely things and then savage leader for some breakthrough and then i'm going to take sneering imperialist so my train print reduction goes down by 15 percent then for lovely Betty here, she's also going to get pain train for the full 10%. Then because they are so precious to me, I want to get uh, awareness for the reconnaissance and 20% less chance of getting wounded. And we're fighting a lot of snow, so I want to get survivalists for the winter attrition and acclimatization. So it's them set up. Now you also would have noticed that I've got no battle plan selected and that is because I cannot rely on the AI to do what I have got planned here. So I'm going to be doing it no, myself. There we go. All right. Let's get this started. Okay, see, I need Mount St. Helens for later on. So this is all going to be done manually. And also, I don't want to stretch my line out too much. Okay, that scrap bicycle go by the plan, so I'm leaving that for now. Hello. Yeah, you can go there. Let's just need to be patient. Everything is about timing. Because as Tilp become done, I want to get construction. There. I want to at least try and keep one unit per tile for now. Okay, so that would be Olympia taken out. So that should be coming down south soon. But I should also be getting one of my units quite soon as well. Okay, I'll scrap bicycle. Coming. Okay, support equipment's done. So now. I want dynamite for the breakthrough and anti-tank for the piercing 
this is all st stuff I'm researching that I'm not actually going to be building now I'm going to be entirely focusing on getting let me actually add I'm keeping it simple but I'm just preparing my plans for the future all right that's battle plan curly done so I'm going to do battle plan molding next Moldy's men are tough as nails they can win this fight easy now the 30 days and they'll join me add them in here and send them straight that's a different template let's have a look at it okay so that's actually stronger that's 15 width but they come fully kitted out so i'll send him straight there reference manuals are done let me get my research speed up Okay, they're already defending here. Okay, let's try to keep them busy by doing that. Oh, uh, there's the... Actually... Let's see if they can reinforce, maybe. Oh, more money, more weapons. Okay, gonna wait some more. <coughs> Reinforce your as well. First 50 political power. Don't need any of you. There we are. You might think I'm being a little bit too cautious, but they do outnumber me quite a bit, so it's better for me to be a bit more careful than not. Okay, there's Battle Plan Moldy done. Now to do Battle Plan Windy. Windy had some losses when they tried venturing into the Lads of Heaven's Gate, but today they seem fit to fight for our cause. Okay, add Moldy on, and Moldy can go here. <coughs> I want to slowly edge my way towards Kodiak Base, not only to cut off this land bit here, but also I need that spot to get one of the squadrons that are coming starting Motra's flight I was hoping a coma would be fighting a bit harder oh this is nice okay so I've lost hills communique okay 132 so I want to get Construction speed would be good. Breakthrough. I don't remember there being anything here about speed. Planning speed, no. I want speed. I want my guys to move as fast as they possibly can. Okay, I'm going to go for surveyor so I can get resource efficiency and construction speed I think that will be the most useful right now okay that's good okay that's windy done so I can do seltzer okay seltzer has been fighting near Helens for months now we need to get them back so print more power armor for me add them in and I'll send Windy straight here to Kodiak base <coughs> oh yes definitely take that okay construction is done now I want to get industrial planning now 
even though I'm waiting and not progressing against anything, I am at least getting my power armor back up and running. Only 63 required to reinforce all my units. And so far, believe it or not, this is actually all going to plan. Okay. Send them in there quickly. Resistance will just have to work until I can capture. And okay, now I've got too many on this one here. Yes, so you stay there. Hey. You also stay there. Now, actually, which one? Oh, tough to choose, tough to choose. No, not that one. I want to actually, since I can. No, the right time, right one the first time. Hello. There. Hello. Keep him here. And I'm now going to make very quickly. Delta Squadron. They shall be blue. And I'm going to give him the exact same I gave Betty. Pain Train, Awareness and Survivalist. Okay. Let me just give Betty an order here so they can actually start planning. There we are. Okay, that's battle plan. Salts are done, so let's do battle plan gravy. We station gravy in a small listening post near Kodiak Base. Now that we have taken hold of the station, we can call them once again. So I'm actually going to put, because I think I need Seltzer on here with Alpha to defend this line, but then I'm going to start walking <coughs> Delta around the map, just sniping victory points and taking on whoever I have to, wherever I have to. Okay, Ohm's Law's done. Let's get secret language for decryption. Hold on. You make sure they're all doing balanced. Okay, let's go Mount Olympus. Let's keep those guys back. I'm hoping that there's no one actually in this group here. We're not doing anything. I need to cut off there as soon as I can. In actual fact, that's where I'm going to send them right now. Because by cutting this point off here, I actually isolate this whole area here from attack. Well, anyone sneaking around. Let's send them in there. Just start edging one by one. Closer in. Okay. Now I'm going to put them right here. If he stays there. Okay. 
Hopefully gravy should be coming out quite soon. And then I can actually start a nice slow advance. <coughs> Need more guns. Okay, Betty is going to go on carefully attacking, and that's Battle Pan Gravy. Okay, so that's all I can do here for now. So now I want to get on to. Let me do our mart first. It's 60 days, but it's all right. There, and you're going to go for all the way up top there. And I'm going to slowly start attacking with Alpha. Okay, so that's anti tank rifles done. Just want to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Also preparing for the future. Let's do squad automatic weapons. Okay, this is starting to kick off nicely now. Okay, your calm is basically done for. Okay, let me do smoke signals again. I've only lost 11 men so far. That is freaking fantastic. <coughs> and I want just to break through straight there. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, it's my dynamite done. Use him. I want to get my warrior training under to get those guys out just a little bit faster. No factories manufactured yet. No surprise there. It is only August of the first year. <coughs> okay. I'm actually going to send Dan in carefully as well. Even if I can't take out everything see if I can at least take out let's send you take out Capitol Hill before the end of the year that'll be good energy planning done let me boost factory output and population while I can oh. sorry I'm short on guns There we go, capital has fallen, that's at least that done. And that should be a big help. Yes, Washington Brotherhood is almost done in August. Love it when a plan works out. Although I don't mind you telling me my stress levels are higher than they may seem. Okay, this is going very, very well. Okay. Change the plan. Armor group order on everything here. And again, let's attack nicely. See if I can just. Oh. That'll be good enough. And go. Cautiously, of course. Oh. See, there I've lost. Lost there. <coughs> no, shh. Hope, hope I haven't made a mistake here. Line is so long and I've got so little manpower. I 
Okay, I need to actually chase these guys. Just carry on chasing them away. I'll get Everett while I'm at it. Everyone attached to there. Washington Brotherhood defeated. Please tell me what the date was, but it's got to be before 2075. Hell yeah. Okay. That power was going to be brilliant. So is the weapons. Okay. Well, that's not right. Okay, I can't select everything. So let me start off with this. course they're gonna fight me on it okay take these two as well oh I can't take this for some reason even though I captured it and that's annoying me all right but okay confirm an exit oh okay I kept it anyways Hello. first things first Let's take this line. Actually, I'm going to just redraw it from scratch. Yes, and let's draw my offensive line here. That's good. And now, before I do anything else, ah. 27th of September. Whew, three months to spare. So it can actually be done. Immediately I'm going to form the Northwestern Brotherhood. <coughs> Why am I doing this so quickly and not waiting till the end of the war? Very importantly, it's going to call all the st states that were owned by the Washington Brotherhood. Done. So that's going to help with whatever resistance problems I had greatly. And how we're looking now, it is 11 versus about the same, and they are already a quarter, already control 25%. So that's up you guys to standard. And I've got factories, lots of guns there. So let's start building. Okay. I always, when I start new production, I always like to go for the highest. Projection cost so that would be anti tank rifles, and next up will be uh, let's go for dynamite. Gonna need more of that than support equipment. I don't have it, so let me. Oh, I've got individual templates, that's all gonna have to change. Okay, let me add on uh, here power armor, and then I can add that one on for free. And I can add in my anti-tank. Lovely. Okay. Our oh, might is completed. Yes, we are actually quite mighty. Thank you very much. Steel Legions. This is what I was going for. I want the Division Attack, Defense, and Experienced Soldier buff. Although I know won't need it now because the dissolution of the last squadron is gone. So I don't have all those negatives pretty damn nice okay let's finish off accumulation this should not be difficult at all i believe we're quite evenly matched And I actually want to rename this one to Wool Squad. As a thank you to Nightmare Demon Wolf, one of my subscribers who helped me actually decide 
on this campaign. Ah, Seattle's up and running. Brilliant. Let's buy some more guns. And okay, now let's go for my good old favorite. I want. Oh, that would be so nice. No, I want a Golden Gate Company for all the lovely bonuses that gives, including stability. And the stonks, thank you very much. <coughs> okay. Okay, you need to come in here. Let's take these victory points, boys. Let's see if we can end this entire war before 2275. That would be absolutely insane. Okay, that's my warrior training done. Now, these are quite far ahead. So I'm going to, since I have zero naval tech, start doing some naval modules. And I'm actually just going to put these guys on. Super aggressive. So let's attack everywhere. <coughs> Let's see how the war's going. Very nice. I've lost three and killed just over 200 of theirs. Oh, another arms factory. What can I add? Let's add you onto guns. I'm still waiting on my squad machine guns, I believe. Three more days, okay. Yep, there we are. Speak of the devil, squad machine guns. Then I want more breakthrough later on, so mongrels. Let's start making these these babies. There we are. And add them into my paladin setup. So there and there. Done. So that will be beginning of my future. I want to sort of add on Some more breakthrough Hello. and some logistics. Yes, okay, let's snap all these and then send this these guys north. Holding quite nicely, that's good. Some sneaky. Uh, oof, this might be a mistake. No, that's going to be a bit of a mess up. Let's send them there. Oh, this one's not captured yet. The tiny little bridge towns. Okay, smoke signal's done. More intel, thank you. Okay, I need to take sure, make sure all these little pockets so my guys don't go crazy. That's a nice boost there. What have we got here? Training town, political power gain, multi population. Yeah, let's carry along this route here. Another 60 days, quite long, yes, but it's alright. Motorized flight is done. I haven't even 
research my first plane yet. Let's do that. No, only 29 days. Okay, now these guys I'm definitely going to send in here. There. <coughs> Come on, let's see if I can take out do everything before the end of the year. That will be... <sighs> oh, I will be very impressed with myself. That has gone so much better than I expected. I am... Whew. Okay. So. Done and dusted. Three weeks short of a full year. Northwestern Brotherhood conquered using only power armor. And that's that. Whew, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.